Yes, you! Do you want to get rich and brag to all your friends? You do? Listen to the top 10 money making methods I found over the years. Hit that like button if it helps. Before we begin, I just want to quickly say these ways don't count, but many players do use them as a way to make money. Kits, they cost money, real money in real life. PvP, you have to be good at PvP to PvP and make money off it. Uh, you have to get, it, and you have to have friends to get money off friends and to get rich. Raiding, obviously you want to wait till you have a bit of gear before you start raiding, so you have more power for someone tries to kill you. <laughs> it's, just, it's just easier to counter you if you come in with just iron gear. So I recommend not raiding straight away, but that's just me. Let's get on with the guide. At number 10, I think veg, carrot, and wheat, the lot. The lot should be at number 10 because it's the easiest and probably everybody who's joined the faction server started off just planting some veg into the ground and hoping you were going to make a little bit of profit. Everyone's done it, don't worry if you're doing it right now, just because it's not the best way to make money, it's probably the worst way to make money. There's other things you can do with wheat that are more productive and you'll make lots and lots more money. Number 9, never war and sugarcane. Okay. Here's why I put it at number 9. On the Archon, the server I play, they've both been banned. Now obviously this means they're dupli duplicate duplicatable, if that's a word. That means they can keep getting them, um, basically exploiting glitches on the faction minigame. So I don't recommend, if you are exploiting this on a server, I recommend you report this and don't do it anymore. It's literally a waste of the minigame. Why would you exploit this? It's stupid. But if, it's, if the glitch is not on the server, I recommend using these because they are very, very easy to set up. And there's loads of automatic farms all over YouTube. Number eight, cookies. All right, I've used cookies in my most popular video. It got It's a money-making guide on how to make money fastest. It got over 40, I think 35k hits. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. It got loads of likes, but it's literally one of my worst videos on my YouTube channel It's one of my first ones and this is why I'm making this guide it Is very very good cookies like I'm not even joking if you can buy wheat at the shop And you can buy coca beans and you work out that you're making profit cookies is the way to go Because it's so easy and grindy if you like a bit of a grindy way to make money. This is for you Seven, smelting sand for glass. Now this may seem weird to you, but it's not weird on the Archon. Smelting sand for glass is one of the, one of the good ways to make money, because you mine sand. You set a home at a big desert. You mine sand. You set up furnaces with hoppers and lava buckets, so preferably in the Never, so it's easy to obtain the sand and the Never and the lava. Sorry, and it's just very very easy way to make money because one lava bucket smelts 100 so you're feeding it in constantly so you won't waste no fire. Number 6, I am Golan Spawners. Now I've done this before and one of my first ever let's plays I had my base with an Iron Golem Spawner in. Iron Golems used to be a lot better on the Archon, they're still viable but they're not amazing compared to the others on the list. That's why it's at number 6, it's still good, it still takes up a lot of room though and it's quite a, big, quite a lot of effort to even get it started. And on the Archon you have to buy hoppers now, you never used to have to do that, so it costs a lot more money to make, so it may not be worth it. Number 5, Cow Spawners. Cow Spawners quickly became a big thing on green on the Archon because the glitch, there was an exploit with a sign and everybody was exploiting it, even me. It, some stupid moderator put the sign so it was a lot more profit to make cow spawn, like have a big a lot of cow spawners. It's a slightly less, it's like half of what you normally make now, but it's still a good way to make money. That's why it's at number five. And number four, we got potion brewing when the server resets. What I mean by that is when the server resets, this is the opportunity to make a lot of money off everybody. If you're one of them guys who has a rank on a server, you can easily make a bit of cash straight off the bat. That was the click of the finger, by the way. And you can make money like that, but that's not what everyone can do. So making potions and brewing is a beautiful way to make money just because it's very simple and some people get brewing equipment in their kits. So it literally costs zero pounds or dollars or money just to get started off. That's why it's number four, because you just take advantage of all the people with no potions and everyone needs potions. People are too lazy. 
Okay, people are too lazy in this world. <laughs> people are too lazy, man. At number three, we have blaze spawners. Now, you guys might be wondering about blaze spawners. Why aren't they on the, the, on the list already? There you go. Blaze spawners number three. It is one of the best ways on the Archon to make money nowadays. You just set up a farm. There is tons, and I mean tons, of um, tutorials all over the internet on how to make the, the best spawners. But we beware of the one you choose because there's many ways to make good sport like grinders but like in different ways so there's some ways that might be bad for faction servers in other ways in other words sorry that means some may be actually slower on a multiplayer server than on a single player server so the guy that could be showing the tutorial may be actually giving you false information that's good especially for what you need it for and what you want it for that is to make money as fast as you can. So I recommend making sure you research your the the one you're gonna use, the way you're gonna make use the blaze spawner correctly, and make sure you protect that blaze spawner with your life and silk touch it, collect them up maybe every time you log off. It's up to you. Depends on your base you're putting in. Number two, obsidian generator. This is also a really good one with the server resets, but it also lasts forever. Everyone needs obsidian right up until everyone has a base, but they always, someone always raids them if it's a very popular server, so there's always going to be business. So you're never ever going to run out of people, and if you get customers who like, who trust you, they will always buy obsidian off you. So don't be an ass. Don't scam people, because you'll get a bad reputation on the server and you won't be able to sell nothing to the public. That's why I put it at number two. It's not the best way, but it's a really, really good way. It just needs a lot of work, because you got to keep mining and mining and mining. And some days, you might not get any money. Some days, you might get loads of money. At number one, this took a lot of effort to think of what I should have, but I came to the conclusion it's something I've never, ever tried, because it's so expensive to get started off. But we we're thinking of doing it but charlie is the one who's thinking because i am not that good at saving money now it's a pigman grinder what i mean by this is if you watch d field's youtube he has a fat off and i mean fat off pigman farm and he makes tons and tons and tons of gold which he sells either as either as god picker uh either as god apples or golden ingots, or gold bar, or gold, anything gold. So you're just making tons and tons of gold, and that's an expensive ore. That's just going to make you profit straight off there. So it, if you have a lot of pigment spawners, you're going to make a lot of money straight away. But the only problem is obtaining them pigment spawners. They are very expensive on the Archon. That's the only reason this is at number one. It's a very, very hard way to get. But... Once you get to Pigment Spawner, if you have a very, very protective base around it, you will keep that for ages. You will make a lot of profit. That's why it's number one. If you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And if this helps, please hit that subscribe button and like. I just said that twice. What's wrong with me? See you guys later. Bye. That derby guy. Peace out.